Okay, I think I'm alive. Yeah, I'm alive. All right, gonna get ready to play some chess while listening to chess. I have some chess music on in the background. This is Chess the Musical. All right. Took me a while to get um, get myself situated here. Let's start off with a little bit of blitz. See what happens. My computer is running really slow today, so this is going to be interesting. All right, we have black in the first game. And the game is about to abort. Ah, there we go. Let's start with a Sicilian Night Orf. Go here for for the Night Orf. And we don't get the Night Orf, but white has taken away their most natural way of defending this square, so we're gonna push. Now this is interesting. This is actually a system uh, known as the Copex Sicilian. This is for international master Danny Kopeck, which is, I think, native of New York, computer science professor at Brooklyn College, if I'm not mistaken, near where I used to teach. The idea is to go back here and push d4, treating it like a Spanish. Well, I'm going to treat it like a Spanish opening in which I've played c5 already. So I have a Shigorin for free. Thanks. Mm, yep, you're going for d5. Push, take, 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 take. Oh, I'm not going to want to take that many times. But I can castle here. If you played d4, I was just going to ignore it. I want to break up my nice structure after all. To prevent the knight from coming in here, I'm going to play for this. All right, well this knight is going away now. <laughs> I got to play this for free. Now the question is, well, what kind of game do I want to play here? My guess is that best to do would be to play g6 and reroute the bishop, control this diagonal. g6 also prevents the knight from jumping into this square. We'll make it blue. All right. Yes. Well, I certainly don't want to take there twice. I'll again, whoops. Ah! I'll prep this idea. They can push. Now this move I didn't consider at all. Is it good? Well, what if I play back bishop g5, take that green, bishop here covers it. That's annoying. Otherwise, if I take, take, move, this falls. Ooh, yellow, nice. I don't like either of the options that I've been given so far, so maybe I should look for a third option. Well, my third option will involve playing this move. But I don't want to allow him to take this bishop. As bad as that bishop looks, I think I need that bishop. Now the question is, can I kick this bishop away? Ooh, I made the arrow disappear to some extent. Then we'll get this guy. So you're going to kick the bishop away and get rid of this pin. That's the idea, at least. Now, do I take with the pawn or do I take with the knight? 
Taking with the knight looks more dynamic. Taking with the pawn shuts this bishop in to some extent. We'll try that. Maybe I'm missing something simple, but we're going to go this way. Takes that. Now, I was thinking of playing rook takes. And now I'm expecting bishop f4 to target this pawn. No, this way. I'm not quite sure I understand what they're going for here. Okay. I'm not super upset about this. I mean, this pawn's a little tender. I didn't want to play rook e6 because f5 then looks like it could be nasty. I have bishop b7. These guys are in my way. I'll make them yellow. <laughs> make this blue. Nice. Yeah. Sure. Well, I don't want to take this, that's for sure. I don't want to give this up, so we'll just play here. Pile up on this pawn. Bishop b7 next. You trade here, I don't mind. And I'll take towards the center. Always take towards the center, except when you shouldn't. Then you should not. Okay, attacking this. Can I be sneaky? Let's try that. Bishop, uh, we'll play rook e7 and bishop b7. Activate. Bishop b7. Bishop b7 still coming. Rook d1, I have rook d8. Rook d8, like I said. Ah, takes there is annoying. Okay, they didn't do it. And actually, this is pinned. That was good. Yeah, rook d8 was no good. Rook d7 would have been better. It's totally possible to play rook d7. Rook d8 was a blunder. That was unpunished, thankfully. I'll take here. Pawn takes this rook d7. Rook takes this queen takes pawn. Queen takes pawn. Looks okay. There was also a <laughs> bishop takes queen, which could have been cool. But this looks decent enough. This is threatened. This is coming. This can come. This comes like this with the rook going in. This is tender because of this guy. This is loose. This is a pawn. Um, check here. I'm not sure what it does, though. That's the problem. And it threatens this. <clears throat> that should be good for something. This is coming down to a time scramble, folks. Well, coming down to losing the queen, that's for sure. All right, just take it. Get ready for the check. Oh, there was no check. It was here. Take a6. I dare you. No! It was not a6. All right. Let's see how fast can I mop up this game. Let's see. Are they going to let the time run out? Oh, my gosh. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. 